Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Chuck Thunder. We're back with our roleplay series here on Elk Mountain. And as you can see here, we are prepping our new field with um, wheat here. And we are fertilizing at the moment um, with our new Farmall 3, uh, sorry, Farmall uh, tractor, Case IH Farmall. And it is a really small tractor, but I figured this is the perfect cheap tractor to have as a secondary piece to do some really basic things like spreading our lines, spreading our fertilizer, and maybe even um, moving some equipment around the field very slowly, but something like that while we have another tractor doing other work. Really the main limitation of this tra uh, of my field status work is the other tractor, which really this um, piece of equipment, um, the mower, is the only thing that can be used um, by this tractor. Like this tractor has to be used for that. Um, and as well as also the um, baler, which it is severely still underpowered for that baler, but for the size field that we're using here, the baler is um, slow, but it works for us when we do need to do our silage bales. Excuse me. That was my belly. Just kidding. We have a really loud, obnoxious motorcyclist on my street. Can't wait till I move to my quiet street when I'm finally moved in. Anyways. So yeah, we can't do anything here with this field yet. We are at the second stage here out of three. Um, we'll be cutting, not at the third stage, but in the fourth stage, because the third stage is the forage stage, and we want to get to the longest stage possible. It is fully fertilized, whereas the other field is in the process of being fully fertilized. Um, and we made a few mistakes when we were fertilizing, because um, what happened last, what you guys didn't see off camera here, was I planted the field halfway and then I decided to skip forward a day by sleeping and half the field grew and half the field didn't so that's why there's like all these weird um, fertilization states going across here so we're just playing a little catch up here with the fertilization states we're not going to play it perfect here I don't care if it's um, the perfect fert stage or not um, as you can see here weeds are not a thing in my field I don't believe that is a weed um, weeds are just not present um, in my field well, they are. They they are actually. I'll take that back. They are present on the edge of the field, where I did not plant apparently. But weeds are not normally a concern in my fields. I just don't really worry about them. So, um, so yeah, this is going to keep going. We are not going to worry too much more about what's going on here. We are just going to let this tractor finish the work that it needs to do. It'll take a little bit to do that. Um, and then we will forward another day and we will begin harvesting our grass field um, and hopefully this uh, stage here this field will be at that stage of harvest Ooh, we just skipped a bit um, you know it needs a few more growth stages in a couple days it says it needs rolling I don't bother with the rolling thing either we're not about trying to maximize everything we are a farmer after all although we can maximize the meal we are really just trying to get stuff down before the next season's end and with only $7,000 in the bank, we really can't be too picky here. We can only use so much equipment. And right now, this cheap equipment that we have working for us has to be, um, you know, our main focus. So speaking of cheap equipment, let's just see if there's anything on sale this week. Looks like the only thing is this plow, which we couldn't even use with any of our current machines. Um, I thought about getting another plow, just getting a plow, um, a really cheap one at that. Um, there's a 0.5, 1.1. The largest looks like we can get is like a 1.4 meter. I mean, that might be too slow. Is a 1.1 meter. Yeah. Yeah, we're not about to plow any fields with that. Let's see. What about um, subsoilers? Can they, they plow fields for us? 1.2. That's a nice, decent sized plow. Uh, 65 at 1.5. 120. That's a little close for comfort on the power. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do. So this, the largest we can get is a 3 meter, maybe make that work. Otherwise, we could do a 1.5 meter plow. Thought about making another field, but we're just not ready for that. We really are just trying to get to the stage of having a wheat field that we can harvest in which that we can then bring the wheat um, for sale and collect the straw and sell the straw. We, we're trying to make the maximum benefit of our fields here. Silage will be our main money maker. Wheat would be great, um, and then if we could start turning it into flour or um, bread at some point, that would be great as well. But for right now, we are just going to 
continue to let the field work and we'll check in with you guys um, we'll do a little bit of a time lapse here a short one and um, we will uh, check in with you guys when we are ready for the next harvest of grass potentially take care All right, everybody, and we're back. We have made it to the season where we have started harvesting our fields. Um, we can see here we are harvesting our grass field, and that is the usual. We are, will get this baled, uh, windrowed and baled shortly today. We have also begun harvesting our first field, as you can see here. Um, and this little harvester is going to fill up real fast because we haven't even done one lap around or maybe like a third of the way around and we are already almost two-thirds of the way full with our machine and we are using our other tractor to bring over the trailer that we will use to fi be filled with this now we don't have a silo we don't have a way of holding on to our wheat for when the price is high so we may have to look into investing in something like that. Uh, we may even have to sell the first batch of hay in order to afford that. Um, we have to take a look. But here we are already at 89%. And we are probably going to need to fill up at some point here. Or empty off. So we will see if we can get halfway around the field now. And we're just about done. Okay, that means we'll move faster here. Um, and where is our, oh yeah, over here. Our trailer is still, tractor still coming. That tractor that I bought is a little workhorse, but it does not do anything very quickly. So it is just arriving over here pretty shortly. It's coming up the field, there it is. Once it gets here, we will have it drop off this trailer and we will just come back around with our machine here and just keep on filling it rather than trying to, um, let's go ahead and do this, rather than trying to use this guy to pull it once it gets weight because it, uh, this tractor is already moving at 8 miles an hour when it's pulling just the, track, the trailer. So I don't know that this is going to work in our favor, but we are going to continue to harvest this today um, little by little lap by lap section by section and we will get that other field bailed and we will check in again with you guys when some of this progress has been made because this is going to be a long tedious task with these tiny machines and small tractors um, and we can run another montage if you guys want to see how this all works out we'll just run it all real quick and we'll see when all this has been begun uh, when we've made some headway and when we're at a stage of maybe ending the video. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.
Okay, everybody, we're back. We have a full trailer load, and it'd be a real shame that I have to use this full trailer load in a way that is not beneficial to me, because we cannot store it right now. We don't have enough for a silo. Now, the cheapest silo I can get is a $5,000 silo. Um, it's a little broken, but um, it is a silo nonetheless, and um, it is um, in pieces right now. Um, and the guy across the street now, he said he sold mostly farm equipment, but he used to own an old farm and someone dropped off these pieces of an old silo that he thinks that maybe we can construct into an old silo for ourselves. So that's one of the things we're going to do with them, um, is we cost, uh, cost us about five grand to get it. But what we need to do is we need to sell this little bit of wheat, um, to the market first. Now it's going to be a little while before we get there, um you know that harvester is still doing his work and it's gonna have to wait for us to come back in order to unload and this is one of the reasons why i want to get a um, a silo out here um, i would normally put it at my other farm but there's really no point in having a silo on a farm in which that you aren't going to be using at that location so we'll probably store it out here on this location so that way we can pick and take really quickly now in order to sell this we need to go to um a location nearby and that location is going to be the Wyoming grain and if we look carefully at our map the Wyoming grain isn't exactly close it's all the way down here so um, yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get our butts over there so we will check in with you guys when we have sold it and um, have built our silo and that'll probably end the episode for us. We'll see you then.